and we're back. Back with Emma Knows Money, yes. Emma Folks, and Erica Ramsey, and we are talking about the very exciting topic of auto insurance. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. I don't even know. Wow, this is... Ready? Yeah. Ready? All right, contain I'm yourself. holding on to my seat. Yes. So, you know, let's talk about minimums. Okay. You know, usually, you know, when you're talking to an Asian, they'll tell you, oh, your minimum coverage is, and I went through this with my son, he was so proud, you know, here's what, you know, my coverages are, and it was all minimum coverages, and I said, well, sweetie, yeah. you know, we need to make some other changes. Yeah. So, why don't, you know, why don't you tell everyone, you know, what, re really, realistically, what should they have here in Georgia? Okay, well, uh, so just to tackle what is a minimum coverage, you hear that a lot, is that in different states, there's minimum amounts required by each state to drive legally. So as an agent, I take onus with this because there's a bunch of companies out there, and you know who they are, who are always saying, we'll get you legal for less, $19 a month. And they're always talking about meeting the minimum requirements. Well, that's a transactional experience. Okay. All you're focusing on right there is the amount of money that you're paying. There is no mention of protection whatsoever. Right. So the minimum limits for Georgia, and I know you're dying to know this, is 25000 per person, 50000 per accident, 25000 for property damage. And that's what you, in essence, are paying for in the backbone of every insurance policy. Think about it. Every time you drive on 285, what do you see? You see not one car, but two cars in an accident, pulled over to the side with the state trooper and the blue lights, and we're all creeping along, looking over, looking, looking, rubbernecking. And the first thing that comes to mind when I see those accidents is, Boy, those minimum limits are just gotten eaten up very quickly. I hope that person in the other car who was not at fault has higher the minimum limits. So you're not protected. I'm sorry, and I if someone's probably going to be shouting about this, but you are just not protected with 25, 50, 25. At the very least, when you sit down with your insurance advisor, you know, think about your life. Think about you, how much it costs to go to the hospital on average. Think about how much care it requires if you're hit, if you're T-boned. If you're a good driver and I, I dare say I'm a good driver. I don't right. have, let me knock on something. I haven't had accidents or tickets in, in years. Um, if someone were to tag me and I drive very defensively, it probably would be a very serious thing. I wouldn't see it coming. So 25, 50, 25, not going to do not it. Not going to do it. Not going to do it. Wow. So what, um, let's talk a little bit, and, and this was something that I, you know, had to really buckle down on, <laughs> um, is gap insurance. You know, you oh, buy a car. Awesome. Yeah. Um, you have it for about a year. New car smell. Yeah, new car smell. Mm. But when you drive the car off the lot, it, it automatically depreciates in value. You know, yeah. months later, it depreciates in value. Yep. And in a lot of cases, if you get hit, they're going to replace the value, you know, of that car. And if you have a fifty thousand dollar car and the value is now, you know, I don't know, forty five, forty three thousand, but you owe. Yes. <laughs> you know. Yes. Um, so what what exactly is gap insurance, and do you think it's necessary? Well, you said it perfectly. So gap literally covers the gap between how much you're paying for that vehicle because you you could have it financed who knows how you're having that finance right. and you may still owe we said it was a fifty thousand dollar vehicle yes you may still owe fifty thousand dollars in that car but the insurance company is going to come back and say well the kelly blue book value now says that this car is worth thirty thousand dollars and have fun paying that extra twenty thousand dollars and you're sitting here like what could, what could happen and i still in the car right. so gap insurance for very little money i mean talking dollars per month or per year you can get gap insurance to cover that gap so gap insurance is a must, is a must, and you should talk to your insurance agent about that yep. or call Erica. Um, so, you know, the, the, the last segment we talked about rates being high in Georgia because people keep texting and driving, and, and I will oh, yeah. curse you. Um, <laughs> if I'm driving and I see you talking on if your, your phone like and you this. almost hit me or, you know, you're leaning, you're leaning. Yeah, that just drives me crazy. But, you know, our rates are higher, but did the insurance companies... Um, just get together and decide that we're just going to charge people more? Like, are they allowed to do that? Like, how does that work? Well, I'm, I'm not going to get too detailed into it, but we as Georgians are actually pretty fortunate. The Department of Insurance, and I've heard of this from the insurance companies themselves, they petition the Department of Insurance when they want to take rate, or what, what they call taking rate, which is basically they want to increase rates, and they want to increase the premiums. But they have to get approval for that from the insurance commissioner, and they have to have a certain window of time where they share that they want to raise the rates and the insurance commissioner's decision is uh, kind of like the overarching entity okay. of that. So, no, they didn't just all collectively just go to town on us as okay. drivers. So it's Georgia. not like the airline industry where they could decide to jack the rates up. I don't want any death threats from Delta or anybody. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you want me to stop talking about you? Get me in the club, Sky Club. <laughs> me too. I can be bought. Yes, I, I can be bought. Pass by those no shame. No shame. Mm. So um, when we when we <laughs> so the insurance commissioner is is the is the friend. guiding is our friend. And Ralph Hudges is your ally. Okay. And honestly, he's actually technically my boss and the insurance company's boss. If you want to look at it high level, so. Um, yeah, so, and also he's elected to office. Yeah, yes, so you should pay attention to who he is and, and what he does. I'm not saying, I'm just saying people are elected to that position. Yes, definitely. So when we come back, um, we're going to talk about homeowner's insurance um, and uh, all the fun that, that's there and what, what happens when you have trampolines and pit bulls and, and swimming pools. With and diving boards. With diving boards. And, and running a daycare. Yeah, all that good stuff. So, oh, we'll be back right after this.